Hi Leo, how are you doing? I hope everything is fine for you. Welcome to your reading. This is a love reading. This is a general one and I will try to cover as many details as possible. But first let's travel three times. Okay, I will start with the current energies for you, Leo. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, all both reversed. Seems to me like you were very indecisive and waiting for somebody, but now you are finally making that decision because you are not having some communication and you think you got the answer uh, from them, that they are not interested and they don't want to talk, but you don't want to wait any longer, you are choosing somebody else or we're just going there and looking for a better connection. Now, what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment is a connection that was very intensive, passionate, but not reliable, not very mature. And uh, sometimes you ask yourself, how did you get into a connection like that when you knew the truth? When you knew the truth that they were lying, they were not quite honest with you. But what was the main challenge there? Uh, Seven of Cups reversed. A person that did not know exactly what they wanted, that uh, gave somehow the impression that they wanted to keep their options open. And uh, yes, so much confusion from a person. You, you had some clarity about you, what you wanted in a connection. They didn't. And that damaged all this, unfortunately. Now... Let's see about your focus. You want to grow this love. You have so much love to share and give, but you want an overflowing love that leads to something better and more like commitment, building a legacy and empire with the right partner. And what is your hope and fear? Your fear is that you may stay stuck in overthinking and indecision. That's why you are just so ready here now to make a move and uh, jump and take that leap of faith and just walk uh, towards the unknown, but with the hope that you will find a better partner. But you don't uh, like to, uh, to be stuck and uh, without a decision. At the same time, you fear that this person is just ignoring you. But how do you view this situation with them? They, you see them very cold. Uh, they seem quite distant and angry and upset and like they have cut the connection or will cut it completely very soon. Now let's see even more details. I want to see about your next connection. What is your next connection? It will be a faded event. It will come as unexpected, but it has the tendency to be very successful. I have fixed signs here. I have Aquarius, I have Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So keep in mind, uh, this, per this person you will be meeting is... Uh, is stable, has uh, is stable, but maybe stubborn, the shadow side of it. But what is good about this is it is a karmic relationship, but in a good way. There's a new door opening for you here, a new opportunity, and it will come in a very unexpected way. If you will keep waiting for it to happen, it will not happen. It will come as a Good surprise. What is something you should be aware for this new connection since the very beginning? Okay, if they are really stubborn, you should, and you don't want a character like that, you have to talk about this immediately with them. If they don't want to change mind or don't want to see your perspective. Now, I have another thought here with that amber card, there may be some age difference. And if this age difference is uh, very big, that you can have totally different perspectives about how the, uh, you view life and 
love and the future of that connection. Uh, it is something to reflect upon and look at this with the idea, will this lead anywhere? Will, will this be uh, something serious and consistent and reliable? Especially if you don't agree on some uh, main uh, main topics that are vital for um, the life of the connection. Okay, let's uh, jump to the person that is on your mind. Let's see what are they hiding from you. What do they hide from you right now? Something they don't want to tell you. Okay. The High Priest is the Hermit, the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. They are not talking to you, or there is very little communication, but you think they are ignoring you. You think they don't want to talk. Yes, they are very withdrawn. They are reflecting, but if we get into their thoughts and mind, it is them that have that strong energy of you around them. Um, they have passion and desire for you with this lover's card. It is very strong, in fact. And on, not only that, but what is good here is that they think about the possibility of a long-term happy connection with this Ten of Cups. They reflect if they can build something like that with you, if that can be successful. And why are they not talking? It is because they are very logical. Look at this. Queen of Swords, they are very distant because of their logical mind, a very cold mind and cold thoughts, in fact, because they want to see the details. They want to know the truth here, what is really happening. And especially they have this idea, if they will give to you, will you give back to them? And they doubt that. And that's why there's another reason why they are just reflecting and not talking. Now, if this reading resonated with you and you want to know more details about this person and your energies with them as well, I will continue this in the extended where I will talk about feelings, how they view you, their intentions, the mutual energies, the energies that are around each one of you as well. The extended video is in the description box below if you are interested. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.